These right here are two recipes that any single person who has an Instant Pot can make. Don't believe me? <laughs> you better stick around. The Instant Pot is out. I hope you guys are loving the series that I've worked on this month so far. This has been one of my most fun series. I am thoroughly, thoroughly on an adventurous journey and I hope you've joined me on it so far. You really loved the first episode, loved the tips as well that I gave you to an Instant Pot and Air Fry. If you don't know about them, it's popped up. Rewatch that video, watch that video. It has insightful tips that you need. Now, today we're taking the Instant Pot on a ride. Yes! Last week I took you guys on a stove top ride. So, this week I'm taking you on an Instant Pot ride. Right. We're going to be making rice and we're going to be making chicken. These two recipes already exist on my channel. I just wanted to show them the Instant Pot route because I know a lot of people are gifting out the Instant Pot, their parents have it, or you possibly have it and you don't know how to use it. So these two recipes are foolproof. You won't get them wrong. If you do, send me a message. So without further ado, let's get into the recipe. Quick rundown of our ingredients. One kg of hen, ginger and garlic paste, bay leaves, tomato paste, paprika and turmeric, salt, black pepper, and soy sauce. To top it off, we also have chicken stock. This cube, we're gonna put it into hot water and let it melt. So that's our ingredients for the chicken. Now, first up, we're gonna start things off by getting our Instant Pot hot. I usually like it on the saute mode, on high. We're gonna take it all the way to 30 and we're gonna press start. As that is getting warm, we're gonna take our chicken we're starting with piercing through our kenyaji here. This is a roadrunner chicken, a hen pretty much. And they don't necessarily have to be deep or anything. It's just to make sure the, at least the flavoring gets on top. We're gonna hit this with some salt. One tablespoon of black pepper, freshly ground. And then a mixture of this turmeric and paprika go in there. Lastly, we're going in with our dark soy sauce. Just gonna mix all of that. We're starting with just a little bit of oil. Do remember that the kenyaji will release its own fat. We're placing in our chicken to brown. So once I usually place in my meat inside the Instant Pot, I don't touch it, mainly because with time I've realized when you move it around a lot, it doesn't actually brown. So you just need to place it into the pot, let the magic happen, and check on it in a few minutes. It's been six minutes. I'm just gonna flip these over. As you can see, look at that beautiful color. So we browned all of our whole chicken, which was cut into bits, for about 24 minutes. And there's only two more minutes left. So what I usually do is cancel, press saute again, reduce the time to about five minutes, add in some oil. And since it's already hot, we're just gonna add in our onions to saute. I'm gonna be sauteing everything for about seven minutes. One thing you should note is that if it keeps blinking like that for the next three seconds, it's just gonna automatically start. Our onions have softened. We're just adding in our mixed spices. Also, it's popped up on the screen so you guys can see which blend I'm using. So I'm just gonna let that cook out for a little bit. And then we're gonna add in our tomato paste, cook that out. Just gonna add in a little bit of chicken stock. Ginger and garlic paste. So we're going in with our chicken. We're going to add some of our mixed spices. Stir this in. go in with our chicken stock so one hack I'm gonna show you is you don't need that much liquid however you can always of course let it come to like a thicker stew 
this liquid will still be there when I open up this pressure cooker. I just want to show you guys that. We're going in with about two bay leaves. And because we need a little bit of heat, we're going in with two chilies. So we're going to go ahead and close this up. And then we're going to put it on pressure cook. Make sure it's on high. We're going to pressure cook this for 30 minutes first. So it's going to take time to come up to pressure. And I'm going to show you what needs to happen when that is going on. So our time is up. I've gone ahead to release the pressure. That's usually called a quick release. A natural release is when you don't press it at all and you just let the pressure release itself over time. So that's a natural release. This was a quick release. Now the best part is we get to open it. You always have to wait until you hear that noise. Ready? <laughs> You are not ready. Wait, wait, how could tayari? Just look at that. But one good sign to show you that your meat has definitely cooked is you see it separating from the bone like that. Look at that. Like, look at that. Look at that. Now I'm going to put it on saute mode so like things can just thick it up just a little bit. Cancel. Going to saute. We are going to have this on high and we're just going to saute and let things thicken up for about 10 minutes. As you can see, it quickly comes up to saute. Now, remember the liquid I had shown you? Notice it didn't reduce. So on this saute mode is when it's going to reduce drastically. I'm just about to serve. I, I hope you're not about to skip this video. You need to watch it till the end to see what I'm about to serve. Now we're onto the rice. That's actually usually my cheat code. I usually make the stew first, then the rice. The rice takes seven minutes. This, I'm not lying. Quick rundown of our rice ingredients since we're getting into it. We have, of course, one cup of washed basmati rice over here, coconut oil, cardamom pods, bay leaves, and one and a half cups of water. One baddie that I really believe in to make bomb rice is can taste coconut oil. Like, they don't even play. So we're going to start things off by, of course, um, getting our instant pot on. On saute mode, why? We just want to temper our spices. So we're going to be sauteing things for about three minutes. I don't want to do it for too long. Start. It's on high. So just going to let it get a little bit hot and then we can start sauteing. Starting things off with melting our coconut oil in here. Then we're taking in our spices. We have about six cardamom pods and we have four bay leaves. We need that for the flavor. Do not skip on that. They're just going to like cook in that oil just a little bit. Now we're going in with our rice. Each type of rice that you cook in the inst instant pot requires slightly different timing, slightly different amounts of water. So this is a shorter grain of rice. Get acquainted with the oil and the spices that we have in here. And then we're going to go in with our water. Now, one thing that I've been using to measure this hack of putting my finger inside and just seeing where the water reaches pretty good so we're gonna add salt into here and a little bit more kente's coconut oil so we're gonna press it on pressure cook mode you want to pressure cook the rice on high for seven minutes cover the lid You can never get it wrong. Seven minutes. <laughs> Perfection is while you kiwa moja moja. Huh? You always gotta fluff up your rice with a fork. You see that rice? You see that? Okay. 
like I mentioned, the sauce was definitely gonna be oily because Kenyeji usually releases its own fat as well. I am a huge fan of the leg, so that is what I am serving. Okay, let's do the thing. Mm-hmm. 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 I had to add more salt. Love it. Love it. Oh my god. The real test comes through. Look at how the skin is just pulling off, baby. Also, I'm not a fan of Kenyaji skin. Come for me in the comments though. I'll be here eating. Look at that. I most tender Kenyaji. Mm-hmm. Let's get back to the rice. Rice is cooked to perfection. Najua wali umepikwa hadi ni moja moja ndio huu. 10 out of 10. I could keep eating. But I need you to throw this down. Again, I'm saying this. If you do not believe that this is the baddest recipe from the Instant Pot, hit me up in the DM. I'll send you a thousand shillings. Pesa ya monopoly lakini. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Hope you guys have been enjoying the appliance series. We're going to keep it going on. Give this video a thumbs up if this is the type of content you want to see more of on this channel. And until the next one, stay eating delicious. I know I will. <laughs>